Chapter 11 Globe and Map Learning Objective Globe Limitations of a Globe Map Limitations of a Map Languages of Maps Directions on the Map The Earth is the only planet on which the existence of living beings has been confirmed. Although the possibilities of life on the Mars is being explored, we are yet to achieve important breakthrough in this regard. We live on the surface of the Earth. A globe is a small model of the Earth. It shows us the true shape of the Earth. It is an exact model of the Earth but it is not very convenient to handle. You cannot carry a globe everywhere you go. So, it becomes important for us to have something that help us in locating the places. Limitations of a globe It occupies a lot of space. It lacks portability. In other words, it is difficult to transport it from one place to another. It does not show detailed information. It cannot be used in books. In order to overcome these drawbacks, map came into being. Let me answer. Name the smallest model of the earth. Map. Map is made up of by cutting and opening the globe on the two poles. A map is a drawing of the surface of earth on a flat surface, like paper. Since a map is made on a flat surface, it is very handy. A map made on a paper can be carried in pockets or rolled and kept with you while traveling. Because of the wide utility of maps, it has become very popular. The map has many advantages over a globe. It is easy to locate a place using a map. It can show even the smallest area in the great detail. The globe shows the entire earth. The use of map makes possible to see the whole of Earth's surface at one time. But it also had some limitations. Limitations of a map It is not fully flat so cannot be used in books. To show all the features of the Earth on a single sheet is not possible for it. Surface of the Earth is curved and is not easy to show curved surface of the Earth. It lacks accuracy. Despite of many limitations, maps are useful in many ways. They can be used to show whole of the earth or small part of earth's surface. Separate maps can be made for continents, countries, cities or even local neighborhood. Size of map varies according to location covered. It is easily portable. Atlas a collection of a number of maps in the form of a book is called an atlas. Let us see how a map uses some special element that help us to locate the place correctly. Infobits A person who makes maps is called cartographer and the skill of making maps is called cartography. Language of Maps Language of maps incorporates the colors, signs, symbols, directions and scales that are used to depict various locations and their details. Directions on the map There are four major directions in a map. They are the north, the south, the east and the west. All countries in world have adopted strict uniform ways of naming these directions. Directions can be easily studied with the help of a map. See the map of India given alongside. Top of the map is known as North. South is always directly opposite to North that is towards the bottom of the map. To the right side is East. To the left side is West. In India's map, Jammu and Kashmir is in the North. Tamil Nadu is in the South. Gujarat is in the West. Assam is in the east. Subdirections Apart from major directions, there are four subdirections. One, 
Between north and east lies north east. 2. Between north and west lies north west. 3. Between south and east is south east. 4. Between south and west is south west. In India, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Manipur, Assam, Tripura, Arunachal Pradesh, etc. are the northeastern states. These eight directions and sub-directions help us in finding the position of a place. Every day, sun sets in the west, so to know the direction if you go to a new place in the morning, stand facing towards the sun. Imagine that your face is pointing towards the sun. The direction at which the face will point will be east. The back will be pointing towards the west. Your right hand will point towards the south and your left hand will point towards the north direction. The map shows the basic system of the direction. In Forbids, Dinesio Chinese culture and some other Central Asian cultures view center as the fifth direction. Scale and Distance A map is a small representation of the big area or reason shown by it. So, we cannot draw the actual distance of the place on a small piece of paper. To write correctly the distance of the place on a map, a scale is used. Every map is used to represent distance in its own way. So, every map gives the measure of distance in the form of a scale in the corner of the map scale is the relation between the actual size of the place and its size on a map. For example, some maps use a scale of 1 cm is equal to 100 km. This means 1 cm on a map is equal to 100 km on the ground. Distance can also be shown by darkening a straight line on a map, dividing it into equal parts. By taking the first point on the line as 0, the subsequent point can be measured as multiples of 100. That is, the kilometer and the other points can be used to represent distance of the place from the first point. Color Scheme Colors are very important components of a map. Different types of colors are used to show different features of a map. The unevenness of land is shown using various colors. 1. Green is used to show low land or plains. 2. Yellow or light brown are used to show land higher than the low lands or plains. 3. High land are shown using deep brown. 4. Shades of blue are used to show water. 5. Pale blue shows shallow waters and deep blue shows deep water. These maps give a key to the color in box indicating the depth or height from the sea level. All maps use the same colors. The colors are universally used commonly so that anybody who knows the language of colors can understand it. Signs and symbols on a map Things are represented by using signs and symbols. Look at the political map of India. The cities are shown by using a circle and the double circles show a city which is also a capital. Dotted lines or dashes show the boundary of the land. Similarly, other places as railways etc. are also marked by using symbols. There is a key which tells us what symbol stands for which thing as you refer to the map more often. You will learn each symbol and understand it even when there is no key with the map. So, by knowing the language of the map, understanding the direction, the scale, the color, the signs and symbols, we can learn various things about a place which the map represents. Summary A globe is a small model of the earth. A map is a drawing of the surface of the earth on a flat surface. There are four major directions in a map. Colors are very important component of a map. 
things are represented on a map by using signs and symbols. Exercise A. Choose the best alternative. A. The book of maps is called Atlas, Guide, Dictionary. Answer Atlas. B. Towards the downward in the map is North, East, South. Answer South. C. In which direction is Jammu and Kashmir located? North, East, South. Answer North. B. Fill in the blanks. A. A book of maps is called an dash. Answer Atlas. B. The north shows dashed in a map. Answer Top. C. Maps use special dash to give us a lot of information. Answer Symbols. D. The bottom in map shows dash directions. Answer South. C. Write true or false. 1. We use maps to help us in locating the places. Answer True. 2. A globe is a map. Answer False. 3. Map has its own language which is followed universally. Answer False. 4. Roads, railways, temples, etc. are shown using symbols. Answer True. 5. Color is used only to make the map beautiful. Answer False. D. Match the columns. A. Scale on the map. Answer Distance. B. Direction. Answer Position. C. Colors in the map. Answer Features of the land. D. Symbols on the map. Answer Dotted lines or dashes. E. Atlas. Answer Book of maps. E. Answer the following questions. A. How does a map help us? Answer. Map helps us to see the whole of Earth's surface at one time. B. How does the directions and subdirections on the map help us to locate the places? Answer. The directions in the map help to find the position of the place. C. What is a scale and what does it tell us on a map? Answer. Every map gives the measure of distance in the form of scale in the corner of the map scale. D. What does the color in a map tell us? Name five colors used in the map. Answer. Colors are a very important component in the map. It tells us about the unevenness of the land. Green is used to show low land. Yellow is used to show plains. Highlands are shown in brown color. Water is shown in blue color. E. Name five common symbols and signs used in a map. Answer. The five symbols and signs used in a map are The cities are shown by using a circle. The double circles show a city which is also a capital. Dotted lines or dashes show the boundary of the land. Similarly, other places as railways are also marked by using symbols. A. Take a world map. Color it according to the landscape of the place. B. Mark the important cities of the world in it.